Has your research turned up anything else on this terrorist ghost? Ni pate ufaro wi sandan suare kani dede akja swaluda is. Figures the old lady isn't around when we need her. Gina na kangan gisat. We can cope without her. What did she say about Terrace? <laughs> Something about some Jedi investigating an old Sith ghost. Said she had a Sith on the planet looking into it. Elios Malus, I think. Surprised there's only one ghost. Story goes, some crazy Darth blew the whole planet to pieces while his own Sith were still on it. Not very practical, but it ain't my business. Anyway, I'd hunt out this Malus guy in the Imperial base and hope he has some answers. Malice, you were sent here to investigate a ghost. What did you discover? I am a busy man. I don't have time for... Oh, my lord, I, I... Forgive me. I didn't recognize you in your new wardrobe. So grand. This is a pleasant surprise. I have heard the most unfortunate rumors. Be careful you don't make that mistake again. Ah, yes, of course, my lord. You are most gracious. Now, you are asking about the ghost, yes? Uh, let me see. I assure you I've been hard at work assessing the situation. It's just the Jedi have been guarding the old Jedi enclave very tightly. That's, um, that's where the ghost first appeared, you see. Let's hope the Guardians of the Light prove open to negotiation. Dealing with the Jedi may be simple compared to seeing the ghost. The ghost appears only sporadically. Not even the Jedi who guard the Enclave can make it appear. They've resorted to using a young Padawan to try and draw the ghost out through blood ties or something. Foolishness, if you ask me, but I'm a man of meager understanding. It seems the Jedi have a weak link. The Jedi guard her closely, but I think you may be on to something. Many a Sith is formed from a weak Padawan's impressionable mind. I can't imagine an impressionable young Padwan being able to resist your particular charms, and it would save you the trouble of fighting a small army of Jedi. Not a bad idea. I live ever to please. Of course, you'll need to entice her away from her Jedi protectors. You might visit the Jedi training grounds by the waterfall. It's abandoned now, dangerous. The data recorders there may hold certain insights into her personality. In the meantime, I will endeavor to learn what I can of her Jedi Masters. Quarry droid. Calm down, Ashara. There is no emotion. There is peace. Try it again. I tried. I tried already. I can't do it. Trust in the Force, and even the oldest and sturdiest of walls may be pulled down. Forget this. If there really are Sith on Terrace, we should be fighting them, not sitting here daydreaming. Patience, Ashara. One must empty oneself of emotion and find the peace with which to act in the Force. Now, try again. The Jedi Code states, There is no passion. There is serenity. Can anyone explain what this means? Ashara. It means the Jedi must be prepared to think calmly, even in intense situations. Passion is a tool of the dark side. There is no emotion. There is peace. It also means Jedi should temper their intuition with wisdom. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. Very good, Ashara. So you see, this line of the code ties earlier elements of the code together.
Ashara, relent. That's an order. But I was winning. You must learn restraint. Varric is clearly not your equal. There was no reason to press the attack. We're training for war. The Sith won't surrender. We have to drive them back with everything we've got. These are not Sith. They are fellow Padawans. You show great potential, Ashara. But you must temper your fervor for the light with patience. Varric, Eli, and Cassius will be in the assault group. The rest of you will be support. Any questions? Then take your positions. Master Ryan, I think you put me in the wrong group. You are in the support group, Ashara. You will provide backup to the assault team. That's what I mean. I should be on the assault team. Varric can barely hold a lightsaber. Learning to support your fellow Jedi is an important skill. Varric lacks your confidence, and so requires your compassion and encouragement. But Master Ryan! Enough, Ashara. You have received your instructions. Join the others if you wish to complete your trial. I found the databanks. Our Padawan has a bit of a pride problem. She is a less than perfect Jedi candidate. Most excellent. In my experience, pride and insecurity go hand in hand. My lord, you went searching for crumbs and discovered a feast. She feels as though the Jedi don't trust her strength. I must show her that I do. Hmm. Yes. Excellent thinking. Promise her power or wealth. Something to win her trust. Let me think what could we use. It must be something tempting to a young Padawan. I can be quite persuasive. I have no doubt of it, my lord, but you are Sith. She will never trust you without encouragement. Ah, yes, here we are. This outpost here used to be occupied by the servants of a powerful Sith. Supposedly, they left behind a holocron when they abandoned the site in haste. Its contents are probably beneath you, but what Padawan isn't tempted by the lure of forbidden knowledge? Tempt her into using the holocron, and let its dark side knowledge do the rest. Precisely. Once the girl comes over to the dark side, she will do whatever you ask. Of course, you will need to find the holocron first. The abandoned outpost is in a nearby region. I'll transfer the location, but be warned, it's swarming with rat ghouls and other monstrosities. I found the holocron. Excellent news, my lord. And I'm pleased to say that I found the perfect place for you to lure your Padawan to. An area of swamp near enough to Republic territory that you'll feel secure, yet remote enough that you'll be truly at your mercy. Where do you get all this free time? I am only doing my duty. I suggest you contact the girl using a hollow communicator from a nearby Republic soldier. In the past, Sith often used dark side holocrons to turn weak willed Jedi. If you can convince the Padawan to look, she'll fall easily. <laughs> Shara Zavros, I've discovered an item that I believe might be of interest to you. A holocron of some power. Who are you? How did you know my name? What makes you think I'm interested in a holocron? The truth is, I'm a Sith. And I need your help. A Sith? How did you get this frequency? Stay away, or I'll cut you in two. I'm not overly familiar with the Jedi Code, but I don't remember the part about bisecting people. If driving villains like you from the galaxy isn't what a Jedi does, I don't know what is. 
I want nothing to do with you or your dark secrets. Or that holocron. Why call me? Why not take this holocron to one of the masters? Ryan or Osera? I've already heard stories of your knowledge and power. Stories? That I don't believe. The masters don't seem to think I have much power or knowledge. But even if I was interested, I shouldn't leave the base. I'll be waiting at the swamps in the Republic territory. If you change your mind. I'll... I'll give it some thought. All right, Sith, I came, but no tricks. Don't think you can kill me easily because I'm a Padawan. Even Master Osera can't beat me with a lightsaber. Such intensity. Such fire. Those are Sith qualities. Jedi are not without emotions, but they channel them toward the greater good and the protection of others. Is that the holocron? You surprise me, Sith. I didn't think you people knew how to tell the truth. Strange. I've never held one of these before. I expected it to be heavier. They are remarkable objects. Care to have a look inside? I don't know. The Masters don't let Padawans handle holocrons. They also didn't want you coming here, but it worked out. Well, I guess it can't hurt to look. Behold the teachings of Darth Andral, Lord of the Sith. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. No. What am I saying? Is that what the darkness feels like? Your defiance is foolish. And misplaced. The ghost in the Jedi Enclave. I must speak with him. The ghost? But... No. Of course. I will do as you say. I'll go ahead and prepare the Enclave. Make sure no Jedi are around. I'm sorry, Sith. I couldn't do what you said. I just couldn't. You were right to tell us, Ashara. The Jedi Enclave is no place for Sith, and this one gives me an uneasy feeling. Blame it on my misspent youth. This is not a flippant matter. I won't have dark side rituals performed in this Enclave. I'm sorry, but they gave me no choice. They attacked me. You tried to turn me to the dark side, and you have the nerve to claim self-defense? Master Ryan, Master Osara, what have I done? What have I done? I understand you're upset, but we have a ghost to deal with. You're right. There is no emotion. There's peace. I guess there's nothing left to do now but summon the ghost.
child. I thought I told you never to summon me again. Excellent. Truly remarkable. My lord, you are utterly clever and resourceful. Thank you so much for clearing out the Jedi for us. What are you doing here? Collecting a ghost for my master. I am sorry it had to end this way, but you were dead and Darth Thanaton made a better offer. He's made me a lord. Unfortunately, he's also asked that you be executed. My regrets. bloodshed in my grave. I warned you not to summon me again. I warned you to leave me in peace. To keep your Jedi away from my grave. Please, I'm sorry. This Sith needed to speak with you. Your apology is worthless. You must die. Wait! Please don't kill me! Don't let him kill me. I'll do whatever you say. Agree to be my apprentice and I will spare you. Whatever you say. What is happening? What are you... Strange. How long has it been since I felt at peace? Centuries at least. What do you want that you went through all this effort to speak to me? I wish to devour you, and take your power for my own. Ha! Huh. You don't have the ability to overwhelm me. Sith, what did you just do? If I hadn't done that, another Sith like Malice would have come and claimed it for himself. What happens now? Embrace the dark side. Come with me. I suppose after all this, that's the only path open to me. Masters, forgive me. If I hadn't done that, another Sith like Malice would have come and claimed it for himself. What happens now? Embrace the dark side. Come with me. I suppose after all this, that's the only path open to me. Masters, forgive me. Wardahai Wistai Rojans. Looks as if we have two new travelers. The ghost and a little Jedi pet. Wonderful. The pirate thinks he has another ghost story for us to investigate, too. My lord, it's Carl, your apprentice. Corrin's here with me. We don't have much time to talk. Thanaton tried to make us his. Claimed you were dead. We managed to flee Drummond Cass, but his lords have been hounding us through every sector. Where are you now? We've set a course for Quesh, a nasty little swamp world. The warfare on the- Looks as if we have two new travelers. The ghost and a little Jedi pet. Wonderful. The pirate thinks he has another ghost story for us to investigate, too. My lord, it's Carl, your apprentice. Corrin's here with me. We don't have much time to talk. Thanaton tried to make us his. Claimed you were dead. We managed to flee Drummond Cass, but his lords have been hounding us through every sector. Where are you now? We've set a course for Quesh, a nasty little swamp world. The warfare on the planet should allow us to hide from Thanaton. We need your help. We took something from Thanaton, something to help you beat him. Blast! Ship's hit! Emergency landing on Quesh! Hurry! If Thanaton kills your apprentices, you will appear very weak indeed. It looks like hunting ghosts will have to wait. 